So I know you've come here to lecture on family instability, but I also know that you're working on some other things. Can you give us a little snapshot of some of the other things you may be working on? Yes, thanks for asking. Um, I'm actually in the middle of finishing a manuscript for InterVarsity Press um, in which I am looking at the problem of the nuns. Why is it that post high school and now into um, emerging adulthood, why is it that people are leaving the church? Mm. Why is it in the 2014 Pew Research Report people are more prone to check the box unaffiliated when asked about religious affiliation? Um, and we're doing lots of really important um, sociological and data-driven research on why that is. And I want to help us also, in addition, just to pause, to say what's the theological issue. Mm. And I think the issue is actually this. What is the relationship between you and me in the space of the community of faith right so now? True. Yeah. Um, how do I understand this relationship? Um, and I'm going to define that as we have a shared identity that there's a purpose here that's about reconciliation, that God mm -hmm. intends there to be reconciliation for us in order that it might reflect the glory of God, that this is this too is the avenue of transformation, that God doesn't transform me just when I'm alone, but God trans in doing my quiet time, but transforms me through relationship with others, through differing wills and that the source of that is the Spirit, and the Spirit has power to do more than we possibly could do. So in that, what might be the values that a community would share, the practices that they would do, um, in order to hold up that kind of faith and that kind of community? It would be things like remembering. How is it that we remember the story of faith that becomes our story that shapes our identity? How is it that we think about mutuality, this act between us um, as the place where faith is transformed, where we are transformed to reflect God's glory? Um, we might think about contribution, not just asking teenagers to participate in what we already do, but to contribute, to make a difference, to add on to, to act in this space. Um, and all those values are gonna give way to practices of how we might have be doing church together in the future with whatever form that might be taking.